between exit 46 and 45 I-90 eastbound out in the Rochester area. On my way to Canandaigua. Here comes the snow, little Dolly. Oh, here comes the snow. Yeah, it's all right. Da 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 <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe this. It's February in upstate New York and it's snowing. Oh no, what are we gonna do? So I'm out here in Canada, New York, picking up a load that's going down to Taylor, Pennsylvania, which I'm taking back to the yard in Syracuse because right now there is a commercial vehicle ban on Interstate 81 down in Pennsylvania. And uh, it just started snowing a little while ago, and uh, it's coming down pretty good. I must say, it's coming down pretty good. So, uh, how y'all been? Been doing all right here. Been kind of busy as of late, and uh, that's all I got to say. Good times today. Nothing but good times today. I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. All done out here in Canandaigua, rolling back to Syracuse, got to take my 30 minute DOT waste of time break along the way and I'll catch up with y'all when I get there. Beautiful day out here in uh, the Finger Lakes region of upstate New York. Route 332 northbound leaving Canandaigua. Is that awesomeness? Just stopped for the old 30 minute DOT waste time safety break. Out here at the Clifton Springs uh, Travel Plaza. Oh, it's a beautiful day for a drive, isn't it? <laughs> All right, let's see. That's yeah, awesomeness. Pure awesomeness. All right, just wrapping up the old 30 minute DOT waste of time safety break. Out here at the uh, Clifton Springs Travel Plaza. And apparently, there's a uh, oh, there goes a snowplow. Keep up the good work, buddy. Anyway, uh, apparently there were a, a couple uh, truck accidents west of here that just happened. The roads are pretty slick, and uh, I'm just taking my time heading back to the yard in Syracuse, and then I'm going to make the call on whether or not I continue on for the rest of the day from there. I might just tell them I'm parking it until this uh, calms down. It's coming down pretty quickly. The plows are doing a most excellent job keeping up with it, as always. And, uh, oh yeah, break time's over. I got a scoot. I got to skedaddle. Thank goodness I don't live in Seattle. I know, it's the only thing I can think of that rhymes. <laughs> Actually, I'd like to visit Seattle someday. Someday. And uh, the sleet and rain are starting to begin, which is going to make an awesome, awesome mess. Good day, and welcome to 81 North, this is north of Syracuse. Good times today. Do you know what time it is? You should know what time it is, right? I know it's been a while. Ah, uh, that's the bestest noise of today. Back in Syracuse, and uh, the sleet and the rain are starting here. And uh, it's pretty crappy out. The throughway is horrible. And uh, they haven't plowed the main road out here 81 wasn't very good and uh, I've got to be in Clifton Park at 10 in the morning So I think I'm going to spend the night out here in Syracuse Normally I would stay out here in the truck But uh, seeing how it's a little longer than a 10 hour break I think I'm going to look into getting a uh, motel room for the night Just so that uh, 
I have a nice comfy bed in the shower and all that fun stuff. So if I don't have to stay in the truck, I'm not going to. Normally I would, like if I had a 10 hour break. But uh, right now it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I don't have to be back in the yard until 6 in the morning. So that's why I drew 16 hours. And uh, I mean, I could shoot for going home. But like I said, the throughway is crappy. And uh, I've had enough fun of driving down the roads for today. Um, I got back in the road here. Back in the road. Ha! Back in the yard here. You'd think I could get through a video without getting tongue tied and twisted, right? But uh, when I dropped the trailer here, I called down the dispatch to let them know I dropped the trailer. And uh, I was asked if I could bobtail out to Williamson, New York, which is about 70, 75 miles from here. Normally that would take about an hour and 15, hour and 20 minutes. Today it would probably take the rest of the time I have on my DOT clock, which was just over four hours. So I pretty much told them that I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> uh, I didn't feel safe doing that, especially bobtailing out there in uh, freezing rain and sleet on roads that haven't been plowed. Safety first. So I don't think they were too happy with it, but they seemed to understand and uh, told me to have a nice evening. And gave me my assignment for tomorrow. So on that note, I will talk to y'all later. Y'all have a good one, eh? I'm out of here. Stay safe, stay warm, and uh, adios.